Hello everyone, welcome to our pre-calculus pre-recording video. This is lesson 5 on the equation of a line parallel and perpendicular lines. So now we are starting something related to equation of a straight line and other things from 1.3 section. Okay. So these are the agenda, the equation of a line point slope form, slope intercept form and general or standard form. Then we have parallel and perpendicular lines along with some examples, practice maths, etc. Et Let's have a look. So first of all, what is the equation for the slope or what is the formula for the slope? What is the rule for the slope? Slope is the idea of slope. Idea of slope is the slope is uh, rise over run just simply that but let me give you an example suppose you have this is the floor this is a wall let's say let's say this is the wall okay now you have a ladder like this like this this is a ladder and some people uh, will uh, try to uh, try to go from this point to this point so this is an this is an one kind and then there is another ladder here something like this now uh, here there is a there is a person just to give you the idea of slope some some person here is going up and then some person here is trying to go is going up now my question is if you are this person, hmm, uh, in which way you can actually uh, go easily? In which path? Say this is path one, this is path two. Which path? Say this is path one, this is path two. Or this is ladder one, this is ladder two. Which one will be easier for you to go to this wall, to touch this wall? Hmm. This is, uh, I'm, I'm sure everyone will say that this, this path uh, will be easy. Uh, and the reason is not only the reason is not reason is not only this line is small but also you see this line is very you know the line is uh, uh, the line is too uphill this is we can use this word uphill is uh, too much you know or you can say that uh, the angle here is too big and this angle is small but this angle is too big so this will be hard for you to uh, go to this point right and mathematically mathematically actually uh, we can explain the same thing yeah. the slope of this line is actually higher the slope is higher here slope is higher slope is more here here slope is higher higher and here slope is less that's why it is easy to go there so the definition of slope is rise divided by run. Suppose this is, let's say this is 2 meter and let's say this is 4 meter or 6 meter, something like that. Okay, 4 meter. So the slope here for this line, the slope will be rise. Rise means this part. This part is rise. This is rise and then this is run. So, so so the slope will be 2 divided by 4 that means 0 0.5 this is this equals to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and i'm just giving some numbers here approximately these are this is not absolute uh, thing so this is if this is 2 this must be 4 and this must be 6 something like 6 okay so the slope for slope for the other line slope for this line uh, this 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 line for this line rise is this much okay this line so rise is six we said and the run is same rise means the vertical line run means the horizontal line so the slope for this one is six divided by four and six divided by four means you can cancel it out like this uh, this will be three this will be two so three by two that means 1.5 so see which number is bigger this number or this number 0 0.5 or 1.5 this number is bigger and this slope is bigger this slope is bigger that's why this is uh, tough to 
tough to uh, use this path. Okay, so slope actually gives us that idea uh, of, of this line. How much inclined the line is? How much inclined the line is? Is it horizontal or inclination is be becoming bigger and bigger? Okay, slope gives us that idea. And this same idea actually, this is not the class for the slope, but this idea uh, main agenda for this class is straight line, but the concept of slope actually is very important here. That's why you will see that we will use the word slope many times in this in, in this lesson. And this lesson is, uh, uh, you will have uh, idea with uh, many uh, concepts here. Let's put it this way. So, slope, okay, this is the idea of the slope. Slope means rise divided by run and how it helps? It helps us to understand how much inclined the line is, how much inclined the ladder is, or how much inclined the hill is, mountain is, okay, even the, even for the mountain, for the hill, eh, also we can use the same idea. So, rise divided by run, that means, rise means y2 minus y1 and run means x2 minus x1. This is, suppose this is y2, this is y1. In terms of mathematical symbols, we write it this way. And from this idea, m equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, actually we can find out the equation of line. And this is the same idea. So, m equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And this idea, from this idea, we can actually, we just have multiplied both sides by x2 minus x1. x2 minus x1 and x2 minus x1. So, that we can cancel it out here. That is the reason. Hmm. So, just to remove this or you can just simply uh, uh, x to minus x1 you can send it here then that, that is also doable yeah they are cancelled out so you have this and basically the form of this is the equation of the statement uh, from, from here y2 y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 this is actually a form of equation of the statement where x1 and y1 is any given points x1 and y1 is any given points and m is the slope of that uh, equation. So, slope and uh, this like this example, the slope will be given 1 and minus 2, 1 comma minus 2 will be given and suppose we will have to find out the equation of line, then we will put 1 is the value of x, so here x1 and minus 2 is the value of y, so y1 here and the slope is 3, so we will put 3 here, then you we will get the equation of the straight line. Now, what does it mean? Let me tell you that. It means that, um, uh, it means that a line, there is a line uh, here, it, uh, any point on that line is 1 comma 2. Suppose this point is 1 comma 2, minus 2. So, if a point on the straight line is given along with the slope, slope of the line, how much is the slope, how much is the rise divided by run, then actually, we can find out the equation of the line. So, only one point and slope is needed to find out the equation of the line, equation of the line. So, this is the, this is the equation of the line. There are three practice maths here. Suppose this one and this one is given, what will be the equation of the line? This one and this one is given. This is slope and point given. There is two, uh, two um, points given what is the equation of the line this is the question for the line in the problem too what is the value of uh, y when x equals to 0 this is uh, about the intercept so you give a try and then uh, pause the video you give a try to solve these maths um, based on the concept in the previous slide you uh, can actually solve this two part and this uh, for this three number you can use the simple concept of finding the uh, simple concept of calculation actually or you can say that finding the y intercept what is the value of y? That means it is y intercept. So you can use this concept. Give it a try, then uh, then you can start the video when you are done. All right. So this is uh, we just used here the equation uh, slope intercept form uh, point slope form y minus y one y minus y one. The Point slope form means we will explain that uh, things in detail in the coming slide. What does it mean? I will uh, explain that also. Uh, so, this uh, m into x minus x1. Hmm. So, this is x1, this is y1, and this is m. 
we just use it here and then we get the equation of the line. Now for number two, you see the slope is not given here. There is a problem. Slope is not given here. Which means that we will first have to find out the slope. Then we will have to use this formula to, to, to find out the equation of the line. Since the slope is give, not given here, so first we will have to find out what is the slope. Then we can use this uh, formula to find out, we we'll use the same formula to find out the equation of the line. Now to find out the slope, uh, already you have seen the slope formula m equals to y2 minus 1 divided by x2 minus x1. So this is x1 suppose, this is x1 y1. Any point you can choose x1 y1. You can choose this one x1 y1, x1 y1, then this is x2 y2, like that. So see y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1, so you have this, then you will get the slope here. So from this slope and from any point you can uh, find out the equation by this, uh, this formula. Any point you can choose, eh, no problem. Here x1, y1, for x1, y1 you can choose this point or this point, both will give you the same answer, that is the fun about this map. And in this case you can just, uh, for the line in the problem 2, uh, what is the value of uh, y, y in x equals to 0, just you write here x equals to 0, then try to find out y equals to what, that's easy. So in a point slope form, one line can, uh, may have this or this uh, equation. Uh, if we solve both equation x and let me show you the whole thing this is what we said uh, i said that point slope form or etc etc type of thing so first you you need to have the concept of this uh, of this thing what is point slope form what is slope intercept form and what is general form this is remember this is important that you all have the concept about these three types very clearly the reason is even in the exam also we will ask you to write the answer suppose we will ask you to write the answer in slope intercept form that means you will have to write in this format in the answer so that that's why and of course we will practice this kind of math of course uh, for sure but uh, uh, just to give you a heads up you will need to uh, take it very seriously okay so point slope form, slope intercept form and general form, what does it mean? Let me tell you that. Point slope form means uh, in this form, y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. The equation will be like this. Something like, suppose some example here. Here you can already have, have this example, point slope form example. y plus 4, then 2 into x plus 1. So the numbers are here, numbers are here, numbers are here. This, this, this looks like we will not need it. This looks like exactly like this. See? And we understand that, and we understand that this is a point. This is uh, 1, comma 4 is a point, and 2 is the slope because of this format. This is the form, and this is an example. And from here also, minus 5, comma minus 8, this is the point, and 2 is the slope. So if we, if we see anything like this, this is called point slope form. Okay, why it is called point slope form? You may ask this question. The reason is, in this case, you have a point x1, y1 and slope. So in this case, you have x1, y1, a point and slope. That's why it is called point slope form. Okay, point slope form. So uh, point slope form is this one. This one. Then slope intercept form, y equal to mx plus b or sometimes y equal to mx plus c some book uh, write this some books write this so both are correct uh, because this b is a constant number c is a constant number which actually represents the y intercept uh, in this format so no problem with that okay so slope intercept form is c y equals to twice x minus 2 y equals to this way if we write something this way if we write something then it is called so slope intercept form this exact same equation actually you can, you can, suppose you can multiply 2 into x, 2 into 1, then 4, bring it to the other side. Then actually this exact same equation we can write in this form also. Same thing, same thing. 
then this will be called uh, uh, this this will be uh, slope intercept form why it is called slope intercept form the reason is this is the slope and this is the y intercept so from this format we easily get what is the slope and what is the y intercept without any calculation just by looking at the number okay this is the slope and this is the y intercept that th this is how it helps okay and then the standard form is this one uh, if we uh, write all the all the uh, x and x and y related uh, terms in one side and the constant term in the other side just like the standard way of writing any equation uh, that is called the standard form some some book call it uh, writes it as general form okay so sometimes this is called general form ax plus by by equal to c like uh, twice x minus y equals to 2 this kind of way all the x and y quantity in the left side and the constant number in the right side is called the general or the standard form so this is how this is how we can actually write uh, uh, the same equation we can actually convert it uh, in this form to that form in different form we can write uh, the equation of the straight line and they sometimes they represent the same thing they can represent the same same thing same thing we can convert from general uh, uh, suppose this one is uh, slope point slope from point slope we can write it to slope intercept or we can write it to standard form mm. so and basically so you can say that then why we need uh, to write it in all this different way one way why not enough because they have their own advantage okay this form have some advantage this form has some different advantage and that's why this word is written here here we easily know a point and a slope uh, uh, slope we can easily know here some uh, here we can actually uh, know directly what is the what is the a slope and what is the y-intercept without doing any calculation here actually with some calculation we can uh, easily find out x-intercept y-intercept etc etc okay so they have their own advantage that's why we need to learn uh, all of them in different form form or format now this is an example uh, from slope intercept form graph each of this line so this line uh, drawing will be like this see y-intercept is 3 so that's why 3 is here uh, in the in one of the class actually in the drawing of a straight line I said that uh, in that class in that re recording I said that uh, we uh, can draw this equation of a straight line without suppose normal method is what normal method is x okay x value is 0 uh, then y value is what uh, x value is 1 then y value is what this method so I said that there is a trickier method to uh, in the drawing process and this is that tricky method without even uh, uh, going for this uh, box this calculation we can actually draw it and drawing process is here so first of all when uh, the equation of a straight line is given in the slope intercept form this number is called the y intercept so first of all go there this is y intercept 3 this is our x this is our y y intercept is 3 and we know that this is the slope so minus 2 is the slope in this equation in this uh, equation and minus 2 means minus 2 there is no down number here that's why we will have to choose 1 in the down if nothing is given that means 1 okay and this is uh, this upper number is always y value of the slope and uh, this down number is the x value of the slope upper number is y value and down number is x value because rise divided by run okay this is the reason in other words this one is the one is the run minus 2 is the rise so now see how it helps how this is small number helps this number is 3 so that's why 3 here now we will have to start from here see this what happens this is the run run is 1 so 1 box this is the run run is 1 box so go 1 then this is 2 but it is minus that's why go down 2 box so 1 box then 2 box then you get another point so then join this two point you will get your line you will not have to uh, have to do all this thing. let me repeat once again so one is this way x value is one that's why x it is going to the x line suppose uh, and then and then this is the this is the minus two that's why it goes negative direction 
let me write it here once again minus 2 divided by 1 okay minus 2 divided by 1 this is the slope and this is the uh, this is the rise this is the run this is the y value this is the x value okay so this is the 1 and this is minus 2 now you can say sir this minus you consider with the 2 but you can we could consider this minus with the 1 also so suppose you could you could write write this this way also this is also correct because when a minus is given before the fraction we can write it in both way so if you consider it this way see then from this point let me show it in another color then from this point 2 is the uh, 2 is the y value and uh, minus 1 is the x value so minus 1 means so when it is positive it goes right when it is negative it goes to the left then you go so this is the minus 1 this is the minus 1 and then this is the this is the plus 2 because in this case now it is plus 2 so you get this is the plus 2 then you get the point and still from here to here you can join and you will get the same line so my point is you can go to the left side uh, or you can go to the right side but uh, it doesn't matter you will get the same line because this point and this point or this point and this point will uh, will, will connect the same line will make the same line. so without uh, doing the calculation by using the slope and uh, this is the slope by using the slope and y intercept we can actually draw it draw the equation of line you can and give a try to draw all other lines and if not if something is not matching we can discuss it uh, later no problem so, so yeah these examples are given which one is y intercept and which one is uh, slope like this slope is this and y intercept is this etc etc okay so we can uh, try to graph uh, all these different different lines the method is same now see this is uh, about the horizontal and vertical line uh, so for a horizontal line this is a horizontal line if something is uh, something like sleeping on the bed this is horizontal in this case what will be the slope hmm. suppose you have two points on this uh, on the line here one point and here one point so what will be the slope of this equation think about it slope will be what or you can uh, try to calculate the slope of this one because slope formula is y2 minus 1 divided by x2 minus x1 so when you have two points you have the y2 y1 and x2 x1 think about what will be the slope here and then what will be the slope of a vertical line this is a vertical line just like a standing so you can choose a point here and you can choose a point here and do the calculation what is the slope coming you will notice that slope of this slope of this horizontal line for this so, uh, horizontal line slope will be zero and for this vertical line slope will be slope will be let me show you that slope will be um, something some number any number here some number suppose some number suppose some number divided by zero that means for this case it will be undefined this slope is undefined for vertical line slope is undefined for horizontal line slope is zero you can check you can check this point and this point this is x coordinate this is y coordinate so this is uh, 0 and this is the center so this point coordinate is this point coordinate is 0 comma minus 2 and then this point coordinate is 1 2 3 1 2 3 so this point coordinate is 3 comma minus 2 so by using this point you can use the formula to find out the slope or you can choose any two points that's that's no problem or whatever the point you choose your slope will come zero for sure because it is a horizontal line anywhere you draw the horizontal line suppose this is not horizontal suppose here or here or here anywhere you draw the horizontal line which is perfect perfectly horizontal okay these are uh, freehand drawing so don't compare it with this um, let me let me let me uh, draw some good line i think you got the point but still let me draw some good line suppose if you draw the line here this is a horizontal perfectly horizontal even here no problem in the middle also we can we can draw the line they they will also have the slope zero and anywhere you draw this vertical line not this one 
anywhere we draw this vertical line uh, the slope will be the slope will be what slope will be undefined okay slope will be undefined so there is a nice concept here that means the equation of the, the equation of this line will be what now in that case since slope is zero here that means this term will be zero so y equal to b will be the equation of a horizontal line this is also a very tricky concept uh, slightly <laughs> slightly tricky not too much so y equals to mx plus b when you know that this value is zero that means y equal to b is remaining that means y equals to b is remaining and you already know that this b means y intercept here y intercept so what is the y intercept here in this case uh, minus 2 that means that means y equals to minus 2 is the equation of this of this line this blue uh, this green color line y equals to minus 2 is the equation of this minus uh, or, or of this uh, green color line and uh, let's say suppose this line suppose the point is here then this is 1 2 so this is y equals to 2 is the equation of this line this one and suppose this is these are not perfectly drawn suppose this point is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, suppose 4.2, suppose this point is 4.2, the line goes through 4.2 here, then the equation of this line will be y equals to 4.2, this is easy, very easy, okay, so for the horizontal line, the equation of the line will be y equal to what, y equal to what, y equal to what, but for the vertical line, it will be x equals to what, because x value here now, because x value here now. So, 1, 2, 3. So, it will be x equals to 3. Okay, this will be x equals to 3. And uh, my randomly, from the randomly drawn line, suppose this line, this will be x equal to something, x equal to negative something. So, negative 1, 1 point, uh, it seems to me like 1.3. So, it will be minus 1.3, suppose. x equals to minus 1.3, like this. Whatever the number here you, on the on the x line it cuts, then that number will be here. So, x equals to some number is the vertical line. x equals to some number. You, uh, you can always uh, recall it this way. x equals to some number. x equals to 5, x equals to 10, x equals to 25. This is vertical line. This is vertical line. And y equals to some number. Only some number. y equals to 5, y equals to 10, y equals to minus 5, y equals to minus 2.5. All of them are horizontal line. Horizontal line. So, this way you can keep this in mind. So this is for the practice for slope intercept form, uh, change the equation this uh, into slope intercept form. So we can just uh, you know convert it uh, from, to convert it to slope intercept form 3, 3, 6, we can send it to the other side then divide it by 2 to get the slope intercept form which will be like this and then we can try to graph for this one. So find an equation on the graph and write it in the slope intercept form find the equation of the graph. How is that uh, uh, help? Suppose uh, one thing we can write here. Do um, you understand the, understand the concept? Change the equation this equal to 4 thrice x plus twice y equals to 4 into slope intercept form and graph it. So this is the equation. And which one is this one? This one is plus 2 so the equation is this one. This equation. Okay, this one, this one is this. Find the equation of the line on the graph and write it in slope intercept form. So, this is minus, uh, minus 8 by 3, minus 8 by 3, so that, that, that means uh, 3, 3.2, 3.6, minus 3.2.6, minus 2.6 is here. So, that must be this line, this line. Okay, also slope is uh, this one slope is positive and this one slope is negative so basically they will go this way and there is a very interesting thing here let me show you that there is a very interesting thing here and that is these two lines are perpendicular to each other these two lines are perpendicular to each other mm, how do we know we know that from we know it from here minus 3 by 2 and 2 by 3 if you multiply them answer becomes 1 slope becomes 1 minus 3 by 2 
slope becomes minus 1 minus 3 by 2 and then 2 by 3 slope of this line slope of this line is minus 3 by 2 and then slope of this line this line is 2 by 3 if you multiply both slope then see 3 3 cancel minus 2 minus 2 cancel answer is minus 1 that means these two lines are perpendicular to each other if the slope of two lines if you multiply the slope of two lines and the answer is minus 1 then these two lines are perpendicular to each other then they are perpendicular to each other we have a detailed uh, uh, discussion on this actually and also in the book they have written a proof how it how it works and how it uh, uh, how, why it is true okay and this one is they are parallel this one is uh, these two lines are parallel and they are parallel how do you know because you see everywhere their distance is same they are keeping the same distance they are not coming closer they are not far, going far away and these two line will never meet uh, if they keep moving this way they will never meet with each other okay and what is the then what is the relationship between these two line what is the relationship in, in, in slope you will notice that actually their slope is same this is minus 2 and this is also minus 2 so the slope of this slope of the slope of two parallel lines are same always this one and this one their slope is always same same number suppose if this one slope is minus 3 this one will also be minus 3 if this is minus 2 this will be also minus 2 if they are parallel if they are parallel so this is the relationship uh, between uh, two parallel lines okay so this way also we can uh, see it will they ever get closer or farther apart or cross what do you think i think now by now you you know the answer parallel lines have the same slope and and different y intercepts because you see y intercept is here and y intercept is here so they are different y intercept okay okay now think about it why this uh, second condition is uh, necessary parallel lines have same slope uh, and if the y intercept is not different then then what happens think about it what happens answer is then they become the same line okay they become the same line if the y intercept is same and uh, slope is also same then th this means they are same line because same y intercept means the line is here and sa same slope means line is like this kind of for this line okay for and for this line same y intercept means the point is here and the line is here kind of that yeah we already said that th they are perpendicular these two lines are perpendicular because this is the uh, extension this is the analysis when we multiply m1 into m2 that means this slope and this slope answer is minus one yeah, yeah, their slopes are negative reciprocal upside down okay so how it helps suppose if someone tells tells us that okay this is the equation of the line and there is another line which is perpendicular to this line that means now we can think about okay uh, the slope of this line is this so if it is perpendicular another line then what will be the slope of that line we can think about it by using this formula m1 into m2 equals to minus 1 slope of this into slope of this equal to minus 1 this is the formula uh, suppose this one's slope is let's say this one's slope is this line's slope is already we have actually slope here so we cannot give the example let me give the example uh, from a random line suppose this is a line let's draw the line uh, to some degree realistic suppose this is a line this line's uh, slope is 2 yeah. so and there is another line here so question is what is the slope of this line answer is uh, we can actually use this formula to find out the answer yeah. you can consider this is m1 this is m2 or uh, m of a and m of b so we can write here 2 and then m of b equals to what that means minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 will be the answer of the slope of this line that means if one slope is given we can easily find out others if someone gives us the information that they are perpendicular then we can find out the other slope this is a challenge problem try to solve this math and uh, and see if it happens 
use the slope and distance formula to show that the quadrilateral whose vertices are this and this and this is a square that means if you plot all these points without plotting also you can prove if you plot all these points you will see that this is a square coming one but we will have to use the slope so find out the slope of the, all these two points suppose this one and this one what is the slope this one and this one what is the slope this one and this one what is the slope then this one is this one what is the slope yeah, you will see that some slope are same some slope are perpendicular so that that will give you the idea uh, then distance you you can find out the distance between these two points these two points these two points etc etc actually first plotting is uh, necessary so that uh, so that you understand uh, where is which point let me give you an example i will not solve this math uh, but i will give you the idea suppose one point is here suppose one point is here suppose another point came here another point came here so let's say this point is a this point is b there are four points given so a b c d c d so once you see which point is higher then find the distance of these two point distance formula and midpoint formula we discussed in our lesson one or two in the very early lesson okay distance formula so find out the distance between these two points then find out the distance between these two points then find out the distance between these two points and then find out the distance between two points you will see that distance of this of this of this and of this is same <coughs> all of them are same distance you will see that okay this is number one number two find out the slope of this line and this line you will see they are same same because they are parallel find out the slope of this line and this line you will see that this one and this one is same same they are parallel that's why from this idea we can say that uh, we can say that um, uh, we can say that uh, they are this is a this is a square this is a square because because all sides are same and this one their their opposite sides are parallel to each other okay so this way we can uh, we can prove it another way all angles are 90 degree another way we can prove it and uh, that is by using the Pythagorean. So we can find out this distance also. Then it will make a triangle, and you will see that um, hypotenuse is square equals to this side is square plus this side is square. Then you can prove that this is 90 degree also. And same way you can prove this one. Same way we can prove the other one, etc., etc. So you, this is a challenge problem. So that's why it is a little bit bigger. And actually, we can prove it in many ways. All right. But this is fun to do. Uh, check if uh, check if by using this uh, four points you really get a square or not this is a mo uh, math from the directly from the book <coughs> in class practice these are the in class practice maths we will try to solve these maths during the class time or some, some maths of this type okay uh, from this page these are some practice uh, practice works so give a try to solve the maths from here also, we may give some homework, by the way, now formal homework in our uh, in our Google Classroom. If we give any homework in the Google Classroom, that means you will have to submit it or you will have to do it there. Uh, and uh, we will give you the marks about that. Just like the participation quiz, but we will give the work just like participation quiz work. But uh, homework, homework math will be a little bit more. Yeah, participation quiz is just one math simple one math but for homework it will be 10 marks question okay so similar pattern same way you will do but that will be a uh, little bit uh, lengthier uh, question questions so that uh, that carry, that can carry eight marks and uh, 10 marks total uh, and for the homework actually we have marks in our syllabus also so you will have to be you will have to submit it uh, uh, or else you will lose mark in the homework and of course for the homework uh, correct answer is important suppose in the participation quiz if you do it wrong uh, or if there is a mistake in your calculation still you get one out of one mark because of your completion because of your participation but for the homework uh, your work has to be correct your answer has to be correct in the homework or else you may lose you will lose mark so correct, correct answer is uh, needed in the homework so we will give the some homework uh, from now on uh, because i think everything is settled and you all have some habituation habituation with the system and everything so it's time to start uh, giving some homeworks and uh, checking it all we'll try to try to 
keep, keep uh, the number of homoids uh, as um, uh, as flexible as possible. Let's see. So, all right, uh, you will see that, uh, and we will see you in the class. And till then, have a wonderful time ahead, and uh, best of luck with everything. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.